Hi, I'm Ellen from Oka and Okra, and today we are looking at repurposing some toys for Chi Chi's birthday and Christmas. Yeah. Hi, Chi Chi. What you doing? So, she's about the stage where we're getting to look at walkers and those sorts of things. So we've got these two toys which have been sitting out by the dam for a very long time. I'm going to start with cleaning them up with just a bleach and water solution and see how that goes. So this is after cleaning with the bleach and water solution and leaving it in the sun for about 10 minutes. Hi. And now we are just doing a water and dish soap combo with a scrub brush to get all this little bits of dirt out of the sections. Um, I would like to take them more apart but this doesn't have any obvious there's some bits I could take apart but there's not a lot that's got really obvious connectors and I want to get rid of all these cobwebs and spider as well while I'm here so we're gonna have a go at that and this one's come up really nicely so I might not bother to paint that one at all we'll see how it goes I can if I want to but I don't need to this one yeah um, it's a cat truck, of course. Yeah, Chi Chi. Uh, it's cat, but we might um, make it a vintage Bedford or something like that. I'll have a look at the colours when we get to our local hardware. All right, we're gonna have a go with the soap and see how we go. Hey, I'm Ellen from Okra and Okra, and today we're continuing with our dump truck transformation for Chi Chi's birthday or Christmas. I haven't quite decided yet. So, didn't quite turn out as well as I hope, but you get the idea. Um, so I did a lot of taping off. Taping in here was quite difficult. Um, sprayed the yellow, then taped that off and sprayed the chrome over the top. So this is what it did look like. That's it now. So we've had a bit of a leak through the masking tape, but it's not the end of the world. Um, I taped it off as well as I could as you can see we've got lots of overspray but I can do with that if I later if I really want to um, so I've as you can see I've repainted these these bits so I've just got the other wheels see there's a before wheel and that's what this yellow looked like so I'm gonna tape off these wheels which is a big pain in the butt and spray them and I might, this is like a fuel tank on the side, so I might paint that chrome. We'll see how I'm feeling after I do all the fiddly work of the wheels. And then I will show you the final product. This was our first piece, this was our test piece. So I've sprayed the um, clear acrylic over this to um, seal it. So that gives you an idea what it's gonna turn out like compared to how it was. So I will finish up and show you how it turns out. So this is the wheel taped off. Getting in here is quite finicky. I actually used tweezers and just got my little bit of tape and shoved it down as much as possible in there, like that. Um, Obviously I didn't tape this off enough when I did the yellow paint, so I'm not too stressed about that. Um, I'm going to attempt the same thing doing the little yellow rim. So I'll spray yellow first, and then when that's dry, tape it off and do the chrome. I'll try and make it a bit neater this time. It's fiddly, it's a pain in the butt. Um, all the instructions I watched said take it apart. I honestly couldn't uh, find a way to take this apart uh, easily. so. Uh, I'm doing the best I can with the tape and for a first go, you know, I'm not too upset with it. Uh, Chioma's not going to know the difference anyway. Um, but obviously, yeah, the more time and effort you put in taping and doing these little details, um, the more bespoke it's going to be for your little one. And if you're going to do the time and effort of doing it up anyway, um, you know it's nice for it to be a bit special for them and a bit different than had you just bought a brand new one in store that looks like every other one so i'm gonna get on to the other two wheels taping them and then get spraying hey, i'm ellen from okra and okra here's chioma hi 
and we're just looking at our almost finished truck project so this is just waiting on a clear coat um, I'm just waiting for the last couple of touch-ups to dry uh, it's not perfect this chrome bled through no matter what I did so that's on all four wheels but if you remember what we started with yeah um, this had been outside by the dam for a number of years um, Chi Chi is up to the point where she's experimenting with walking. I didn't want to buy a new plastic toy for her. Um, and yeah, I probably spent about 60 bucks on all the stuff to do this up. And the paints and all that sort of stuff are problematic in themselves. Um, I did find some spray adhesive, sorry, spray acrylics that were water-based. I don't know if that's actually any better. I'll have to do some research. Um, so obviously this would have been even better if I'd been able to get some more eco-friendly paint but that's one of the things that's really uh, hard to find and um, it can stop you know it can, it can mean that you don't do anything rather than trying to do something so um, I would have to look up how much this toy was to start with it's a mega blocks cat ride and walk and ride something like that um it does have sounds and batteries i am never ever putting the batteries back in there chioma will never know that it made sounds um she can enjoy it as it is so i played around with putting some chrome detail on it um as you can see i did chalkboard paint in the windows so i've drawn little chioma and her dog malu that's at her other grandmother's place there's chioma there's the dog from the side and then on the front we've got Chi Chi's construct as in cons and then truck co little chrome grill um so I'll do a clear coat and then that's all ready for her birthday which is on the 5th we just have to keep it off her till then yeah and as I said um I couldn't get this part so taking it apart would have made it a lot easier I spent a lot of time and effort fiddling around spray, um, taping stuff to try and make it neat and tidy but really that's what makes it worthwhile because that's what's going to make it unique to your child and stop it from being just another thing that was bought from one of those big letter stores um, and saving the hundreds of these that are around on the sides of the road every weekend stopping some of them from going to landfill so yeah I'll have to do some research to see whether it's worth it sustainability wise in the long run um, but yeah I enjoyed doing it and that's one more skill I can tick off and something that Chioma will like and is especially for her all right thanks we will see you next time bye bye